this demo is for e bus ticket booking system it is developed in java and uh, mysql okay so for this project you need to install in your uh, system that uh, mysql server then workbench or mysql query browser and netbeans so for uh, mysql you can for easy way to install that web installer and once you install this web file you will get all the options like uh, once you download it you will get uh, like this way I already installed, so you can just check there. Now this download, you will get this one, MySQL installer. It is a web-based installer, so whatever required component you can directly install. So you have to install MySQL server. You can just click add and you can install. Then MySQL workbench, it is uh, for this query exhibition, creation of table, and you can install, you need to install that uh, connector. Uh, what do you see JDBC connector? Okay, once everything is installed, also you need to install NetBeans. Any NetBeans ID will work. So whatever latest version available in uh, NetBeans, you can download and install. Once these uh, are installed, you have to just uh, use that all that uh, DB script file to create the database. And once database is created, you can configure your project. So first you have to start MySQL Workbench. So just go that uh, MySQL and start Workbench. So you have to first connect to your uh, whatever database you install MySQL version. So you have to type your password connected. Okay, so once connected you have to just uh, run the script so you'll get the db script here just copy this path and go file open a script script select that folder open that script file okay so this script will have all the table creation script in such statement all the data will be inserted so you have to just select all and then execute Okay. So once it is done, just go to that uh, schema and just click on refresh all. So you will get that new database, bus ticket. Okay, all table is there. So this is the user master, you need to have this login details here. Like this is the admin user ID, admin password. Okay. Now once this database part is over, just minimize it and go to your again folder, project folder. Now you have to configure source folder, just copy this path and now start your NetBeans ID. In your project, once you open this NetBean, you have to configure the path, uh, sorry not path, actually user ID, database name and password of MySQL server depends on your MySQL installation. So that details you will get there. That main main class of Java you have to change. So I just go there. So you can just uh, maximize it. You can close the existing project if it is already opened. Now open project. You have to just copy this path, source folder path. Copy it and just delete just it open to it the bus ticket is coming just open click open to it now once this project file is open click on source packages then there is a default packages okay so you have to just change this main class dot java so double click it and here you will get that database connection stream. So whatever the database name you have given in your SQL, MySQL, that bus ticket, if it is different, you have to change here. This is the database name. Now this is your user ID. So by default user in the root, so whatever password you have set in after installation, you can just give. So here I give my password. 
okay now we just save it <coughs> that's it other thing you can just change say you want to change some text here so you can do change also like e was ticket system just all click and you don't want to change anything you can do the java ticket system or whatever so you can change there like main form so you want to change here also just all click and you can add the text here once everything set you have to just save all the changes you have made and run the project now you need the username and password so you can just refer your installation guide or if you don't have installation or you can you have that mysql database also just go that user master table you will get the all the user id and password so this is admin and admin so i'll type here admin and password is admin click on login so this uh, our project is started now this is the menu option okay so first this is user master so whoever want to login in the system they need have to authenticate here so i want to add a new user so i will give the user id onik cat then this username onik cat login password so i will want to say 456 now email id if i want to give i can give email id also mobile number you can type mobile number now user is active and what is user user type admin so sir the new user is added same this user will you can refresh here also you can go select this is coming so it is created now okay same way bus master so whatever bus i have because this is a bus booking test system so i need to add a bus so i'll add a bus so we have to add bus number say bus number is mh 04 and 003 with the bus number bus model say p123 make your say 2018 so luxury bus then number of seat i can give you number of seat 24 driver name say driver name is uh, bus is active say the new bus is added so you can edit also so what i want to edit say model number i want to add a hyphen so click on modify so it will be edited now once bus is destination so this is destination from to where the destination name so i want to add a new destination so i will refresh type the destination name say जीरो is a journey that so bus we have added new bus this is d1 to the luxury bus departure and destination is mumbai and arrival is ratnagiri and departure time i can add a departure time so this is time is uh, 11 30 and this is uh, 15 Here, how much is there? So I give one, two, five, three. The share should be active. Set. New share is created. User activity. It is a basically for the log. Who is the login in the system? Like I am logging now. So what I have done? I have logged in. The user added, bus details added, updated. So it is for audit purpose. Anybody can check. 
so you can generate this data in Excel also. Now stop. So basically, this uh, once user is login, he will not view the admin menu. He will just say stop menu. He will be visible. So I want to add a new customer. Say customer is. This is existing customer. I can add new customer. Customer name say. So new. So new show me. Mail date of birth. Two thousand nineteen eighty. Zero one twenty email ID so is at gmail dot com mobile number menu to the address number save so new to customer is added now I want to book booking so the journey you want to Mumbai to Ratnagiri. Scheduled date. So 2020 Search Search bus. So these uh, details we have added. Uh, previous screen. This uh, journey. Okay. Now I want to book this person. Huh? So journey date. We don't want to come here. Fair per person. Once you double click, details will come automatically. Schedule ID, customer ID. I can change the new customer, this one is Sharma. So you have to double click to get the details of the bus, here everything can. I'll show you total amount. First I have to add the passenger. How many passengers need to be added? So I for Sunil like Sunil mail is a copy seat number, I will get ten number. So one person added. Now second passenger. So mail and this one say only twenty. So eleven added. Okay. Now say I want to edit this one. So I have to double click here and say is on nine number set. Edit. So nine set. So this rate also automatically calculated. Like I have added two person. So is 1250 so automatically it will come to 50. I want to add one more person. Cypria. Female. Age 35. Sit number 11. Plus. Now this figure is customer is changed. Now you want to add a cash. Okay. Now after completion all the details you have to save the booking. Booking save your booking ID is eight. So booking is completed. Now close. Now say I want to manage booking. I want to find the booking. So booking ID if if you have that bus ticket ID, booking ID, you can just type here search. It will show that uh, booking details like what was the date, what from journey to and from total amount and the passenger details also. Okay. Now once uh, this details is available. So you can print also this ticket. So to print ticket, you have to create one folder in C drive. C drive. So just go to your C drive and click on folder E bus ticket because all ticket will be saved in this uh, folder. So if this folder is not there, it will show error. Okay, already folder is there. So no need to create. Just click on print ticket. So it will create that uh, PDF file, the bus ticket, booking ID, then date, form, journey date, <coughs> journey time, and passenger detail with amount. And this PDF file will be stored in that folder. So either can uh, mail this ticket to the person, or you can open and print also in the printer. Same way, suppose I want to print that uh, booking, any register, like say booking register. So I have to for the date 2020 it is a journey date so the journey date i have selected is uh, 0405 so report so when this report is created user can export into the excel the excel file also created in the same folder the t bus ticket folder it will be open
for little bit of time. Now say report customer register. View report all customer. So you can filter it right. I can do all the customer name start with yes. Or if you remove it, it will show all the records. Same way bus register. So whatever bus you have, you can show. You can by bus number you can filter also. Like in zero four and zero zero three. So this is the all. And change password. You can change your password, login password from here. 